And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Mobile News 8 Live Desk. Yes, we are once again on the road covering Art Prize, covering some of the amazing pieces that people can check out all throughout Grand Rapids. We are now at Art Marketplace over in Studio Park, and we're checking out a little bit behind the scenes of this piece from Covenant House, Michigan. It's titled A Mile in Our Sneakers, and it really kind of invites viewers to take a step back and experience the uh, journeys of so many people here in Michigan, across Michigan, in Grand Rapids, and their experiences with homelessness. So we're actually being joined by a couple of members from Covenant House, including some of the artists. I'm going to have them introduce themselves. Thank you all so much for being here today. Uh, who are we here with today? Thank you. My name is Carolyn Geck. I'm the Senior Director of Development for Covenant House Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, my name is Willa Mina. You can just call me Willow, and I'm one of the residents at the Covenant House Grand Rapids campus. Yes, no, and they, the, we are going to be taking a look at some of your pieces right now. And actually, let's start there, uh, Willow and Lisa, if you don't mind, just kind of explaining what you guys created here with some of your shoes. All The entire piece are all of these different shoes that I showed you guys earlier, but we're getting a closer look at just a few of them. Willow, why don't you start? Talk to me about your uh, art piece here. So mine are these two right here. I kind of had it so I had a rough step behind and a better step forward, so a lot more... Um, language involving stuff I called myself, the struggles that I dealt with, and then leading that up to a better version of my life than I was striving to do or striving to continue toward. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of other people I've noticed too use that same concept in their shoes, so it's interesting to see. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Lisa, talk to me a little bit more about your shoes here, We're sitting right next to uh, Willow's right here. Yeah. possibilities like that says it's a new start while my past is more colorful and filled out and it reminds me that I write my own story mm -hmm. right now and again this is a piece that we have been covering here at News 8 a couple of times throughout Art Prize already it's just such a powerful piece I mean when you guys were really starting to think about what you were going to do for Art Prize was this something that really came to the forefront well, I mean talk about the process the artistic process behind deciding to do something like this So a bunch of shoes became available, and one of the staff members named Stacy um, came up with the idea of possibly using that as something involving arts, and then it turned into something greater after they were done meeting with the youth. Um, I was in the planning stages. We initially were thinking of like how some people tend to like put their shoes over like a power line as a rite of passage, and then that branched off into literally a tree that um, they ended up finding and worked as a beautiful centerpiece to put all the shoes on. And it went from just the Grand Rapids campus to the Detroit campus as well. So all the residents and um, homeless youth like myself and Lisa were all involved with both locations in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And as like a senior member of Covenant House Michigan, I mean, seeing how this all came together, I mean, what is your reaction to it and being able to know that thousands and thousands of people are walking past seeing all this work and maybe even taking something really personal home with them? We hope so, right? It's a really exciting project. It's really great to express that we have all of these amazing residents with us. So the idea of getting out into the community and helping people understand what youth experiencing homelessness are going through, but also understand that youth experiencing homelessness are just like everybody else out there, right? They're artists, they're amazing, talented humans in all different kinds of ways. They're just experiencing homelessness for a, a finite time in their lives. And we're lucky enough at Covenant House Michigan to be able to help them on that journey and kind of see how they artistically express what that journey looks like, uh, their time before us, their time with us, and then their time after us out in the world feeling happy and healthy and successful uh, after they've left us at Covenant House. Mm -hmm. And again, everybody, we are at Arts Marketplace at Studio Park checking out the A Mile in Our Sneakers uh, art piece from Covenant House, Michigan, talking to some of the members of Covenant House, some of the artists behind the piece as well. Uh, why Art Prize? Why did you think Art Prize was just such a perfect sort of venue, sort of place to really debut this art piece?
like with me, um, one of the things I keep on saying is it kind of helps put a person to the statistics. So you might hear there are so many homeless people and not realize that it's a decent amount of people when you see it in person compared to when you see it on a piece of paper with a few numbers. Um, being able to kind of make it so too, it's like you can relate to all these homeless youth and kind of repersonalize, rehumanize the experience of have it be homeless or have it be anybody who's struggling because we are just the same as everyone else in the community. You probably ran into somebody who was homeless that didn't meet the bill that you thought was homeless but is currently experiencing housing trouble. Mm -hmm. And this kind of helps bring a little bit more light to that and the fact that Covenant House Grand Rapids exists. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. And I, as I said, this is one of the more moving pieces, really emotional, uh, just kind of seeing it. I mean, even without you necessarily knowing a whole lot, just seeing it kind of sparks a lot of emotions for people. I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. Uh, but kind of wrapping up, you know, for people that do show up here and see this whole piece in its entirety or check out some of these shoes like you guys have brought out here right now for people to check out kind of individually, what do you really hope? that they kind of take away from it. This is a question for all three of you. What do you hope they really take home with them? Something, the message, whatever it is that they can kind of sticks with them and something that they will always think about, you know, whether it's at the end of Art Prize, next month, next year, or really forever. I hope that this experience for people who get to view it helps to broaden their understanding of people experiencing homelessness. And of course, because so many people come through Art Prize, we want them to learn about Covenant House. We want them to understand the work that we're doing. And I will just give a little plug. We are having an event here Monday night from 5 to 7. Come on through. Um, we'll have a panel. We get to speak to the artists and some of the team members. And everybody's welcome. So come see us. Yeah, that would be, like I said, just being able to put a person to that statistic and show that we're human, too. A lot of these, too, we got a chance to have either bios or like little videos made involving us. You might see on the QR code down there. We have those over around the tree, around the shoes that those pieces was done on. So have it be about a paragraph that um, people have written, or like I said, videos showing off the ideas and the inspiration behind the artwork. Mm -hmm. I think another important point is that uh, behind all of these photos, you are not just experiencing, and there are not just these experiences just homelessness, there's also the, the health struggles that come with that, the mental health. And I think a lot of these sneakers, they tell that story of, we are struggling with more than just what's on the surface. There is also the emotional and mental toll it takes on us and our families too. And I think that's something important for us to share. Like, again, like Willow said, it's not just a statistic. It is a whole story. It is, you could be passing someone on the street and never know that in reality, this is what they're experiencing. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important for that awareness to be there. And like with Lion, one of the big forefronts is like me coming out as fully, fully coming out as trans to people was a big part of myself moving forward. Um, I was afraid to tell people because I was afraid um, that people would judge me or I'd get even more hurt in the situation I was in. But being able to be unashamed to put that out in the public is also something that was a big part of like, hey, I'm accepting who I am and it's a brighter future for me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, it was great talking to the three of you. Thank you all so much for giving us kind of the behind the scenes look, talking a little bit more about the piece. Again, it, this is at Arts uh, Marketplace here at Studio Park. Everybody, if you want to come and check it out, it is open and available now. And like they said, there is a special event happening on Monday. So hopefully you all tune in for that. We've got a lot more information on this piece and so many others across Art Prize right now over on our website, woodtv.com. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this latest edition of the Mobile News 8 Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day. Okay.